Hi, John Marshall, the Drill Master. I have a colors presentation, a, a posting of the colors by, hold on, it's a school in Arizona that my team used to compete against. Uh, Shadow Mountain is now a Space Force JROTC. That's kind of cool. Uh, used to be Air Force JROTC, and I graduated from Awa Fria High School, and we used to kick your guys' butts. All right, so anyway... Uh, let's see what the, uh, the the colors presentation looks like. Everybody's rising. That's really nice. I appreciate that very much. And so the team is going to enter. All right. Uh, you probably can't hear it. Call the team to attention. Oh, a split arrival. Oh, I see you're going directly to the stands. Okay, so... And it's not detail hauled, it's color guard hauled. So, it being Space Force, you have to use Air Force term, analogy, and I get the, the state flag. So, in school, uh, uh, I understand uh, usually the, the principal uh, wants... Uh, the, the state flag there. I've, I've talked with instructors uh, all around the, the country and even in the territories. They want the state flag. Uh, a superintendent wants the state or territory flag. And um, unfortunately, some teams can't carry that. But, uh, but there's ways to work around it, which is, uh, which is interesting uh, for territories. Uh, for, for Army and uh, Air Force and Space Force, we can carry everything. Navy, Coast Guard, uh, uh, Marine Corps, Navy, and Coast Guard, a little different. Uh, but like I said, there's, uh, there can be ways around that. Anyway, so the, I understand that the, the stands are, so it looks like, looks like actually the stage that uh, uh, Awa Freya has. So uh, the, the, there's stairs on both sides, and then the stand is uh, in uh, just inside the stairs on either side. So the the guards really should be on the outside of the color bearers, and you're posting from behind, which creates a unique uh, uh, perspective there. And then that's fine. Posting from behind the stand is, is just fine. Totally acceptable. Not a problem at all. But technically, the guards really should be on the outside. And um, and so the, the entrance here, I, I, I get what you're doing, but the, the guard here for the American flag just uh, was quite late arriving. I don't know exactly what happened, but having the uh having the uh, uh the color bearers come in and then the guards directly behind them and just moving in so that they move out like that so color bearers here and then guards here i'll move in like i'm gonna poke you in the eye so color bearers here guards here that's what it really should look like and the guards should have followed uh, close behind So again, color guard halt is the proper command. So, wow, what do you? Uh, um, okay, uh, you don't have to do that, and we're not supposed to do that actually. So you, we don't make little facing movements to try and face the the flag. You you stay facing forward and uh the the huge step back really wasn't even necessary and i i get maybe you're you're doing it to give everybody on stage room to view the american flag i i understand that so uh what i what i was talking about earlier presenting from behind you really should dress the flag so that uh and i you know what I, I should I should make a little miniature flag so I can show you how to do that as one of my props in here. But you're going to you're gonna plant the uh, the staff. I'll hold it there with my feet. You're gonna plant the staff, but you're going to dress the flag here in front of the staff. See what you have right now is most of the staff showing, and then the flag is 
for the audience, as far as the audience is concerned, the flag is behind the staff, and that really shouldn't be. Uh, you you really should have dressed the flag so that it's in front, so that as you look at it from the front, the fringe drapes to the right, and the same for the Arizona flag, my favorite flag. Uh, but it also should uh, drape to the front. And I don't know if you're using... Um, try to get a, a so and you also stopped quite far behind the uh, the stand there you really want to tow the stand so the stand ends here and then your foot really needs to end within or or the the your your stand here toe here and it needs to be within a couple of inches not a couple of feet so you can see the angle at which the american flag bearer is trying to place the uh, the flag in the stand and that it just doesn't facilitate proper placement you shouldn't have to really lean out like this and, and angle the staff over you should be you should be right here and you should be able to look down place the stand diamond your flag and then you would diamond the flag on the other side of the staff you'd reach up make sure that your your spade is flat to the audience and it doesn't that's what i'm trying to, to see here it doesn't look like you have the the light ash wood staffs but then again i, I really can't tell the video is quite uh, quite fuzzy so yeah that massive step back is just totally unnecessary uh, I, I understand, I, I think I understand what the American flag bearer is trying to do, but here uh, you, you should have stayed in place, faced, you, you face forward, uh, there's, there's, we don't make those little turns, even full facing movements really to face the flag, it's, you, you face forward, you're facing in the, the, you're behind the flag placement and you're facing forward, so you, you're facing the direction of the flag if if you kind of get what i what i mean there and then you you uh and, but you remain in place there was really no reason for you to take those gigantic steps back uh you can take a a, 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 a slight 12 15 inch step back if you so desire because uh, it looks kind of silly if you're saluting a flag you know and it's like this practically you don't want that definitely but uh but that was a bit extreme so present and then having the face that's and okay n no guards this is this is not a technique nobody uses this if you're going to use it in exhibition drill awesome more power to you not on color guard not at all tuck that elbow in execute present arms properly how the uh, the the color guard uses the marine corps order any uh any armed flight then is going to use the training circular so uh you've, you've got some techniques that you need to definitely work on Hmm. Okay. So, not bad. You got the job done, and you you rendered the proper respect. There's a lot more nuance here that could have happened uh, a little better, but really, um, it, not a bad job overall. So, um, but thanks, Shadow Mountain High School, and I'll be in Arizona coming up in the fall. Maybe I can stop by and say hi. All right. Bye.